Andresa. When the letter O will have a closed sound like O, and when will it have an, an open sound like O? Oh. You have this doubt. I know you have this doubt. And I have to tell you something. I don't want to make you sad, but nobody knows. There is no rule for that. But hold on. I'm here. I'm here with you. I know how you feel, okay? And I will try to help you. In this video, I will talk about this a little bit and I will give you some examples just to make you feel more confident and not give up on learning Portuguese. Okay? My name is Andressa Maia. This is Falando Nis. And in this video, you will learn a little bit more about open sound and closed sound for the vowels O and E. Okay? So, talking about the vowel O, sometimes you have a noun in the singular and the sound of the vowel O, and this noun in the singular is closed, okay? But when it goes to the plural, the sound uh, becomes opened, for example, Olho, I, olhos, eyes, singular, closed, olho, plural, opened, olhos. Other examples, ovo, egg, ovos, eggs, corpo, body, corpos, bodies, porco, Pig, porcos, pigs, tijolo, brick, tijolos, bricks. But this is not a rule, because there are other words that has a closed sound in the singular, and it keeps a closed sound in the plural. For example, bolo, cake, bolos, cakes. Can you see? It keeps the closed sound. Bolo, bolos. Cachorro, dog. Cachorros, dogs. Gosto, taste. Gostos, tastes. Gosto, gostos. Okay? But this is about nouns. When I was researching to try to help you, I've noticed something very interesting. When the word can be a noun and, it, and can be a verb, the noun will have a closed sound and the verb will have an open sound. I'll give you examples and you understand. For example, olho. I gave, I gave you the example. The noun, I, olho, in the singular, olho, in the plural, olhos. But this word can also be a verb, the verb to look, okay? See these two sentences here. Can you see? The same word. But in the first sentence, it's a noun. Meu olho é azul. My eye is blue. Noun, closed sound. In the second sentence, it's a verb. Eu olho para você. I look at you. Verb, open sound. Can you see? Other examples. Eu tenho bom gosto. In this case, noun. I have good taste. Eu gosto de você. I like you. Verb, open sound. Eu tenho bom gosto. Eu gosto de você. Ok? Another example. Nós temos um acordo. We have a deal. Noun, closed sound. Eu acordo cedo. I wake up early. 
Verb, open sound. Nós temos um acordo, eu acordo cedo. Meu almoço é às 11. My lunch is at 11. Não, almoço. Eu almoço às 11. I have lunch at 11. Verb, open sound. Meu almoço, eu almoço. O jogo foi divertido. Não, the game was fun. O jogo. Eu jogo basquete. I play basketball. Verb, open sound. Eu ouço o seu choro. I hear your crying. Não, não. Closed sound. Eu choro quando estou triste. I cry when I'm sad. Verb, open sound. And the same happens with the vowel E. A vogal E. When it's a noun, closed sound. When it's a verb, open sound. Examples. Todo começo é difícil. Every beginning is difficult. Now, closed sound. Começo. Eu começo amanhã. Começo. I start tomorrow. I begin tomorrow. Verb. Open sound. Other example. Eu faço conserto de geladeiras. I make repair in refrigerators. Refrigerators. Ok. Now. Eu faço conserto. I make repair. Close the sound. Eu conserto geladeiras. I repair refrigerators. Again. Verb. Eu conserto. I repair. Verb. Open sound. Ok? So, maybe it will help you, but again, this is not a rule. For example, we have an exception. Um, eu gosto de colher flores. I like to pick up flowers. Colher. It's a verb, but closed sound. And then you have, eu como sopa de colher. I ate soup with a spoon. Now, in this case, colher, but open sound. So, there is no rule, but don't give up, okay? How can you know? Practicing. Practicing. The same way we know, because we listen to this word since we are kids, so we get used to them. So, don't give up. Keep listening, keep practicing, keep talking to Brazilians, and you get used to this kind of words, okay? I hope it was helpful. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment to tell me if you like it and if it helped you. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.